Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video explains Earn Value Management. Earn Value Management is an integral part of the Project Cost Management Knowledge Domain and a key topic of the PMP or a CAPM Certification Exam. Earn Value Management has several terms and formulas that participants of a PMP or CAPM Certification Training course must understand and remember for the exam. Today, we'll take a look at these key terms and formulas that will help you calculate earn value. Earn value management gives you a clear picture of where your project is and how far your journey will go. This accuracy makes it feasible to identify differences, fix errors, change plans and makes timely yet quality delivery possible. The first term in the earn value management is plan value. This is the approved budget to complete the work that must be finished by a particular time or it's basically what the project should be worth. The formula to calculate the plan value is expected percent complete multiplied by BAC. BAC is nothing but budget at completion that we will see later in this video. Now let's move to our next term. It's earn value. Earn value is the approved budget for the project that was actually completed by the specified date. So to calculate earn value, you need to know the percentage complete and then you have to multiply that with BAC. Okay, so our next term is actual cost. Actual cost are the cost that the project has spent so far. Let's move to our next term, which is budget at completion BAC. So it's basically what the project budget is. We know that project budget got, you know, uh, it got defined in the starting of the project itself. Now, next term is cost variance. Cost variance is the difference between earned value and the actual cost. So the formula is EV minus AC. If you are getting the cost variance as a positive number, it means that your project is under budget. But in case if you are getting the value as negative, it means that your project is over budget. Now our next term is schedule variance. The difference between earned value and the planned value is known as schedule variance. The formula to calculate the schedule variance is EV minus PV. If you are getting the schedule variance as a positive number, it means that your project is ahead of schedule. But in case if it's negative, it means the project is behind schedule. Our next term is variance at completion, VAC. It shows the projection of being over or under budget based on the current performance of the project. So to calculate VAC, the formula is budget at completion minus estimate at completion. If you are getting a positive value, it means your project is under budget. But if you are getting a negative value, it means that project is over budget. Now the next term is cost performance index, CPI. CPI shows the overall cost efficiency on the project. To calculate CPI, the formula is EV by AC. So if you are getting the value of the CPI greater than 1, it means that your project is under budget. But if you are getting the value of the CPI less than 1, it means that your project is over budget. Let's move to our next term, which is Schedule Performance Index. So it shows the overall time efficiency of the project. To calculate SPI, you have to divide the earned value by plan value. If you are getting the value of the schedule performance index greater than one, it means that your project is ahead of schedule. But if you are getting the value of the SPI less than one, it means that your project is behind schedule. Let's go to the next term which is estimate at completion EAC. EAC forecasts final project cost based on current performance. 
So to calculate EAC, the formula is budget at completion divided by cost performance index. There are other formulas as well to calculate EAC, but this one is the standard one. Now there is a next term that is called as estimate to complete. It predicts how much more the remainder of the project will cost. So to calculate estimate to complete, the formula is estimate at completion minus actual cost. After knowing all the important terms and formulas for the earned value management, let's try to solve some questions based on that. So you can see it on the monitor, the question number one is you are a project manager for your organization. Your project has a BAC of $400,000 and is expected to last one year. The project work is scheduled to be completed in equal amounts each month. Currently, the project is in month three, but is only 20% complete. You have spent $35,000 to complete the work. You have to calculate what is the earned value for this project and what is the planned value for this project. Let's move to the solution. So in the question it is given that budget at completion is $400,000. Project is 20% complete and the actual cost that has been spent on the project is $35,000. Now we have to calculate the earned value. We know the formula that earned value is equals to percent complete into BAC. Here it's 20 percent complete and the BAC $400,000. So it's 20 percent multiplied by 400,000 which will give you your answer as 80,000. Now the next part of this question is to calculate the plant value. So the formula is to calculate the plan value. We multiplied expected percent complete with BAC. So in this case, what is the expected percent complete? If you will see the question again, in the question it has been mentioned that the project is supposed to last for 12 months and they have given that in each month they are expecting the same amount of work to be done. So in 12 months, if the project is getting completed, if that particular work is getting completed, so let's say that that is 100% of the work. Now in the six months, it's going to be 50% of the work must be completed. And in the three months, 25% of the work must be completed. So this 25% is our expected percent complete in this case. So we will calculate it. 25% multiplied by 400,000, which will give you an answer as $100,000. Let's move to the next question. Question number two, you are a project manager for your organization. Your project has a BAC of $250,000 and is expected to last 10 months. Currently, the project is in month six and is 40% complete but the project was expected to be 60% complete by this time. You have spent 125,000 to complete the work. You have to calculate cost performance index and the schedule performance index for this project. So let's move to the solution. In the question, it is given that BAC of this project is $250,000. Project is 40% complete, was expected to complete 60% by this time and the actual cost of the project is 125,000. So to calculate the cost performance index, the formula is earned value divided by actual cost. So in order to calculate the cost performance index, first you have to calculate the earned value. So to calculate the earned value we have seen in the last question, the formula is percent complete multiplied by BAC. So it's 40% complete. So 40% multiplied by 250,000, which will give you your answer as 100,000. Now to calculate the C CPI, you just have to divide the 100,000 by 125,000, which will give your answer as 0 0.8.
Now, to calculate the scheduled performance index, the formula is earned value divided by planned value. So, in the last part of the question, you have already calculated the earned value. Now, we have to calculate the planned value first. So, to calculate the planned value, the formula is expected percent complete multiplied by BAZ. So, it's 60 percent multiplied by 250,000, which will give you 150,000. Now, to calculate SPI, you will divide the earned value, which was 100,000, divided by planned value, which is 150,000. It will give your answer as 0 0.67. Now let's move to the last question. You are a project manager for your organization. Your project has a BAC of $250,000. Your cost performance index is 0 0.91 and your actual cost is $175,000. What is EAC? Estimate at completion. So we have seen the standard formula for calculating EAC which is Budget at completion divided by cost performance index. Budget at completion is given in the question. CPI is also given. So you just have to divide this and your answer will be around 274,725. But if in the options, this option is not there. So you have to try to round up this value. So if you will round off this value, you will get it around $275,000. So with this last question, the first part of this video ends here. I'll soon come up with the next video. Uh, in that, I'll include more questions based on the CAPM and PMP exam. I'll also include a link to the PPT I use in the video description. And I'm hoping that this video will be useful to you. Please share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like button if you really like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see my upcoming videos as well. Thank you and take care.